Hi, this is Lakshmi. Today I am going to explain you how the data is transferred from a flat file to an SQL server and, and, and I am going to insert this how many rows has been inserted into that particular SQL server that row count also I am going to insert into the another table that one how I will how it is done in through an SSIS I will explain so this is the data in which I have in a flat file that student ID student name and student brand this is the data which I have in five rows so this data is going to be transferred into this uh, table like I already created a table like uh, student details one in that I have student ID student name student branch and again what I have created is I have created a table with the name package details in this package details I have package ID and the package name and the row count like how many rows has been inserted into that particular table and those details at, at what time date and time and uh, that and all is, uh, uh, is uh, shown in this particular table so after that I have created that if you see select details uh, what I have is uh, I don't have any data see now I don't have any data here package ID is where we go as it is an identity will get a package ID and the package name like what is the package that SSIS has been used that package and how many rows has been inserted into that package through that package into a table that is shown here how many rows like now I have a rows like five rows so that five rows count should be shown here and date and time is also shown here so this is how this is uh, done uh, that one I will explain through an uh, SSIS here I have created a new SSIS package here first of all I am going to create uh, uh, data flow task I have drag and drag and drop and double click and here the data flow and here the data flow what, what is there our what is our source here our source is a flat file source so I am drag and dropping this flat file source and I am connecting a connection manager over here so for what is that connection manager I have that folder in my desktop so I am going to student details text one okay and here columns and a student ID that and all I have got so now it's okay retain null values so I'm going to so okay flat file source is over and our and and again the uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to row count here uh, so in the row, row count I am uh, drag and dropping the row count one I'm and I am going to connect it so here here it's showing the variable that variable should be created here now I am going to create a new variable new variable and yeah, I am going to give as a row count row count is a user variable and it is of a package and it is of integer so okay and if you if you double click here variable row count so okay and then the, our destination will be what is our destination OLEDB destination so I am going to connect this one OLEDB DB destinations I am going to create a new OLEDB DB day already I have so I am going to delete that one I am going to create a new DB connection here I am going to give my connection your server name and I am going to give this authentications and everything mine is SQL server authentication I am going to give user ID and password and I am going to select the database test connection it is test connection is succeeded then it's ok then ok now in which table I am going to enter those uh, data that is uh, that is uh, to this uh, student table student details one table so I am going to give that one and then mappings student ID student name mapping is correct and then hit ok 
see now it's an over now now i have what i have done is this row count how much i am going to get that is going to give in a control flow task this control flow task in this i am going to create an execute to sql task sql task i am connecting this double click here here what i have to do oleb db is their connection uh, already i have a connection so i am going to create that one here i am going to give a direct input and what is the statement that what we is going to give is here i have shown i have shown like um, you have to insert insert what two values i am going to insert insert here package name and row count two values i have to insert so i am going to this hard code this one i am copying this insert statement i am directly giving my input so i am going to input in this one and next and next thing is what we have to do is parameter mapping what is the parameter these two parameters which we have insert in this uh, um, uh, if you see here package detail package name and row, row count these two parameters should be passed here so that one how wow, we have to pass over here first thing is what we what is that for first thing is variable name here first thing is the uh, variable name will be the package name so i am going to take uh, the uh, add that one new variable name as a package it is a system package name package name input in and it is of a type var car package name and it is of a type varchar and varchar and the parameter value is a first parameter so i am going to give as zero and the next one is what and the row count so next one is a row count that row count is what we are getting user one row, row count so the next one is a long and the parameter will be one so zero and one so okay and now if you if you execute this what does it should happen that row count what what is there in a data flow C five rows has been transferred from the flat file source to this uh, uh, to the destination. So that one we have, we have been transferred, and this control flow. What does it do in this execute control flow? That five rows has been inserted into the package data that we will see over here. See so for next first thing is select star from student details. see student details has been inserted and then what does it do select package details package details what we what is what it is going to give package id and package package name is package one and row count number of rows has been inserted is 5 and load date time is also there in this package one that much rows has been inserted at that particular time has been shown here and then if you execute again so how many rows will be executed see again again that the particular time again the five rows has been inserted if you want to see the student details table again the again the same five rows has been inserted this is how this row count this is how it's a row, row count transform to the log record that how many rows has been inserted like if you delete or insert or anything like in statement whatever we do in that particular package that that information is shown in this package details like if you delete any row in this uh, uh, student details or something that that is shown in this package detail so number of rows inserted will be reduced that is how we can use this one as how to row count transformation to the particular uh, uh, log record so this is how uh, it is done through an ssis thank you thank you for listening if you like my video please subscribe and share my video thank you